Hey guys, my name is Antranik. I uh, do a lot of bicycling and I like to stretch. So basically, uh, when I'm bicycling and I feel like stretching, I do a few moves with my arms and it feels really good. So I just wanted to share them with you. Each stretch will try to throw you off balance as you transition into it. So it's very, it's very important that your balance is good first. Okay, if you could ride your bicycle without holding the handlebars, then there's a lot of stretches you could do in the meantime if you want to stretch out your shoulders, your neck, your, you know, your upper back. So one of the things you could do is put your arms up and of course pay attention to the road. And if you could do this without a problem, you know, you could relax your shoulders, you could clasp your hands and then put them up, outward, and then stretch and it'll stretch out your upper back, feels good and release whenever you want and of course hold the handlebars <laughs> the other thing you could do is just put your arm in front of you and stretch this will stretch the rear deltoid the back of your shoulder feels really good do that on each side and another thing you could do is stretch your triceps so you could do stretching your triceps And then you could also do neck rolls, so you could just, you know, roll your neck. And of course you gotta do this when you're not riding in a group and when there's no cars around you and you have a lot of space. So you can't just be doing neck rolls. Another thing you could do to stretch your neck is basically just put your hand behind you like this. Alright, so it's very simple. So you just hold your wrist and then what this does is it keeps the shoulder back while you twist your neck away from it. Alright? And then another and then the other side of course. So you do that. Okay. So you could also clasp your hand behind you like this. So you see I'm just holding on. In the beginning you might not be able to hold it uh, you might not be able to hold, retouch them at all. You might be like this. But just keep holding that position. Eventually you'll be able to grab one finger and then two fingers, three fingers. Uh, of course, just be careful with your balance. Practice this, you know, first right when you're not bicycling before you actually do it. So, and of course, try both ways. And then you could also play. You could do a meditation like, like hold your, like clasp your hands and then inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you get the idea. That'll help you focus on your breathing, which is really important when you're cycling, of course. This could mess up your balance a lot, so practice this a lot when you're not bicycling. You just put your hands up. You're gonna put one in front and one in the back. So, like that. So this might be difficult to do. The trick is to start from the top, like with your arms up, and then rotate. Always look at the one that's going back. So one is gonna go back and one is gonna go front. So it's like this. So I'm always looking at the arm that's going behind me. So see, I'm just looking at the one that's going behind me, behind me, behind me, right? Okay, so that's cool, and that's a really good stretch. Stretches out your entire rotator cuff. And then try the other way. So the other way is also very challenging. But the first time you do this, I mean, it's challenging, and then every single time you do it, you're able to just do it very easily because it's just muscle memory. Another thing we could do is we could go into the prayer position. So even just doing this feels pretty cool. And then going like this feels good. You know, it's just like stretches out your wrists. So whenever you see someone go like this, feels good. You just play, you know. 
Um, you could also do the reverse prayer position. I don't know if that's what it's called, but basically you would just put your hands behind you. And that basically, you know, it helps stretch out your chest, it opens up your chest. And again, all of these exercises in some way release your neck and shoulder and upper back tension. So I hope that helps.